Okay, our next session is Padlet. Um, what is Padlet? It's a blank wall to post. Okay, you can post link, image, text, files. I'm going to show you some of the examples of it. So it's an online virtual bulletin board where people used to make and share content with others. Okay, why you want to use Padlet and why you should use Padlet? It's easy and intuitive and simple way to publish original content on the internet. You can collaborate with your friends. Okay, maybe for, even if you want to do a research, you can collaborate, you can share articles, okay, share data on the same board. Flexible, you may add any file type you wish, organize how you want and make it as public or as private as your heart desires. Portable, okay, you can use it, uh, Android, you can use iOS, okay. And then beautiful, there are many designs that you can choose from, so it's very attractive. Okay, how you can use a Padlet? You can upload class materials such as syllabus, Simon, web page, YouTube in your Padlet. You can conduct online activity. Okay, and then you can submit project presentation file to be used in online presentation. The student can submit it so that uh, you can present using only one computer. Okay, and you may want to ask them to submit only in one uh, wall. So it will be much easier. So every uh, I will show you later in my examples. Okay, let me show how Padlet can be used. Okay, this is an example of all your Padlet. If you have one later, okay, let me show you one of the samples. Okay, this is this is uh, let's say in your first day of class, you want to know who is your student. You may want to ask them to introduce themselves. By providing their name, their nickname, their phone numbers, their email, okay, where they are from, okay, their diploma, and also whatever you want it to be, and their pictures, very important, okay. So this is like a database. This is one way for them to you know, engage with your uh, class. So these are examples that we can do. You can you can you know who is your students. Or you can use this for your teaching and learning. You can ask the student, for example, during class, or you can ask them to uh, provide. Okay, like say, for example, this uh, choose different brand and then explain how this cultural, social, personal, psychological influence your purchase for this brand. Okay, so they have to explain. And then in the end, they have to put pictures. So this is just you know, to just make them happy. Okay. What else? Uh, okay, the same thing here. I ask them to state a story and provide brief explanation for your answer. Write the full names, the members full names, and attach group picture. Like your explanation should reflect the definition of the story category. Prefer brand in the capital letter. Do not use the same example yeah, as samples. Okay, because if I provide a sample, I ask them do not use the same yeah, as mine. Okay, so that is how eh, uh, the students, because they, they, they can see their friend's answer, they cannot, they have noticed that the answer is different, they cannot use the same answer. Because the best thing about Padlet, they can see their friends respond, their feedback from their friends. So they cannot choose the same. So this increased competitiveness in students. Okay, and then uh, you can categorize your work. Here, I categorize my work according to general link articles, book activity. So, example for books here, I put all the books, links of all the books, articles, uh, links, yeah, the URL, and also general. This is how I, many things that you can do. Okay, another thing that I did here for all this is that you can ask students to attach their presentation. For example, like this, okay, uh, students have to attach their presentation. Uh, this is uh, what you can see here. Uh, so let's take, for example, like this one. Uh, so when they attach their presentation, you can use this to present. You don't have, they don't need to bring their own computer or their thumb drive. Yeah, for example, like this, students, presentee live, okay, 
perfect pictures. You can notice that uh, uh, even PowerPoint is very big. Uh, it can uh, attach in all less. Okay, new products. Okay, where you can buy tea life. So it's a very good student. Uh, on okay, how you can buy online. Okay, price and promotions. And then advertisement in the media. So this is uh, the examples. Okay, how to get start with Padlet? Okay, firstly, you have to go to www.padlet.com. Okay, and then you have to click on sign up to create a new Padlet. Yeah, uh, so if you don't have an account yet, so click on this. If you have one, then you need to log in. You've already had an account. Okay, now how to start a Padlet? You need to click make a Padlet. Okay, once you click on make a Padlet, uh, you can decide uh, in what format you want it to be. Is it going to be in grid, stream, canvas, wall, shelf, back channel, map, or timeline? Okay, so. My advice is, please explore. Okay, then they will give you this. Okay, they will give you a title. You have to change it according to what you want. Okay, now, you can customize your Padlet. Just click in this icon, uh, this setup icon. Okay, you will get this. Uh, then you can change the title. You can change the description yeah, according to your, your, your task. You can even change the, uh, the, the address, the URL. Okay, where you want, you're going to share it with your students. You okay, can change the wallpaper if you don't like the one that they gave you. The color scheme, the font, uh, the, how you post, okay? your reaction, you want it or not. Okay, comment, you want to allow comment. Yeah, these are yeah, many interesting things. So you have to set up first. Okay, if you click this share button, this is for invite for invitation. You can add members. Okay, uh, and then you can change privacy here. I will show you later. You can yeah. Uh, how to share? It's just you need to copy the link to clipboard. You click on this and then you share it. Yeah, uh, in your WhatsApp or maybe in your email. Okay. That's how it's done. Okay. You can share on Facebook, Twitter, Google Classroom. Okay, once done, you can save everything in your Padlet as an image or PDF. Or you can also print your work. Okay, let's see in terms of change privacy. Okay, you can change privacy uh, here if you want it to be private, password, secret, or public. The public meaning anyone can uh, enter your wall. Okay, so it's up to you. Do you want to make it secret? Nobody can find it. Password, you give a password to your students. Only your stu only those who know your password can uh, join your Padlet. Okay, so this is uh, how is you can set up eh, what you want. Okay, if you click this three dot, you can get this menu. Okay, uh, this is center full screen. You want to invite people, you want to modify, you want to change format, you want to clear all posts, you want to remake, yeah? you want to remake. Let's say you have more than one section. You do not want to do uh, uh, things twice, so you can remake. Okay. How to post? You need to press this plus sign. Okay, then you can start posting. Okay, once you click that plus sign, you will see this. A simple tab with a, will appear that allow you to post your content. Okay, insert the title of topic of discussion. Uh, you can insert detail of discussion in that area. Uh, you can upload file from PC. You can link, yeah, uh, attach a link to website, YouTube, etc. You can access to camera on your laptop. Okay, uh, this additional function, you can see that uh, you can upload a file from your computer. Uh, you can put a link. You can uh, Google search image, your video, audio, GIF. Snap or take a photo from your camera. Uh, this is what uh, the students do. Uh, 
sometimes they put, have to put a picture or maybe you ask them to take a pictures of certain uh, promotion or advertisement uh, assignments okay so you can ask them to snap and put it in this uh, post it in the padlet okay that's about it but very simple i hope all of you will try it <laughs>